So today we're checking out an arena survival game called The Castle Burns. It's the demo and I saw it and it looked a lot like Castle Crashers. It was recommended to me on Steam. I started checking it out. So I'm going to play the demo of it. There's a couple characters that we can start off with. One being, it looks like the rogue of sorts, a solid slug, fade into the shadows and stab goblins. Or we have the Gene Rick Knight, which is, I guess, a knight. He starts off with a bow and a sword and a piece of armor. And this is a crossbow and a sword. So the modifiers, this guy gets nothing. And this guy gets some different pluses and minuses. Okay, we're we just going to do uh, Gene Rick the Knight. Okay, uh, let's go to battle. Now pick your quest. Pick our quest, Malika, the burner of castles, destroyer of noobs, and overall unpleasant person. Okay, difficulty seems pretty easy. Okay, we'll start like this. Okay. However, the fire quickly spread, and she finds herself unable to put it out. Some believe she may be cursed with the ability to conjure fires at will. Will our hero prevail? The... <laughs> the announcer's voice Just is any of the one option you have. <laughs> the announcer's voice is very uh I don't it's it's unexpected. It's just like it's not even like a narrator. It's just like some dude talking. <laughs> okay, so I have uh, what option? Easy? Oh, we're right here. I see. That's the boss. This is where we start. Okay. Um and you can get stars sort of like mobile achievements to get, um, I guess, more perks. The enemy is at the gate. You probably want to stop them. You can stop them by killing them. Here's a little preview of what you're up against. It's this guy right here, okay? If we go accept, we jump into the fight. All you gotta do is move around and let the weapons work their magic. Okay. Oh, the weapons do work their magic, okay? So our bow automatically shoots. So this is very, very much like our um, our striving for light survival. It's in that same zoom. Oh, already got hit. Okay. We get a little bit of coins when we kill. And they kind of vibrate in place. Okay, what are these? Oh, they're spawns. Okay, and there's some fire here too. Let's go for the chip. Whoa, wait. I want to get these coins first. There's even kid goblins? Oh, now I feel bad, bruh. Okay. <laughs> the animations for getting coins and stuff seem a little bit weird. What is this? Oh, she's a healer. All right, like a little siren. But the opposite of? Okay. We'll get some extra coins here. So how many... Uh, okay, we have a time limit of how, uh, how long we can go. All right. So, success. We win this one. Leveled up. Pick any of these weapons or upgrades, or click reroll to get a fresh selection. You can only do that once per level up. Okay, once per level up. So, training sword, this crappy thing deals 2 damage, 2.5 attacks per second. Right now we do 3 with a 2. So this is actually worse, but it's extra, I guess. Uh, there's a Vorpal Unicorn, 2.5 attacks per second, 1% chance to kill, 10 times that chance to critically hit, okay? and deal five damage 1.6 attacks per second 15 percent chance to stun i like that I, I like this the vorpal unicorn sounds hilarious though so we'll take that instead I don't know where he oh it's stuff. not additional it's, it's so it replaces all right i know this <laughs> wait, wait so we have a shop now we have 37 bucks and we can reroll these as well so let's see plus 10 to luck minus three percent armor plus seven speed minus two to projectile speed that isn't so bad um getting three percent armor or three percent armor reinforcing plates cost 38 10 percent shield i see let's re-roll and see if we could get something that costs a little bit more but not quite as more <laughs> not quite as much um let's see three percent damage modifier four percent armor plus two to health minus three percent attack speed Oh, special mushrooms this just takes a little bit of health away from me but the damage increase is high let's take it and um we got 13 left let's take another damage modifier okay <laughs> we're going glass cannon baby so you can see our modifications here 
and we have uh, the next battle that we can take. There's no, we didn't get any stars on this. I wonder how you do. Stew and you, rumors go you've been eating a little too much stew. Uh, do you, are you looking at my personal life? Because I have been eating a lot of stew lately. Luckily, they have brought forks. Pro tip, don't get stabbed, okay? When attacking with a melee weapon, make sure you're facing the enemy. Okay, so when you face the enemy, you do more damage. The attack is much faster than it was before. Oh, a lot faster. <laughs> like, I could machine gun stab this dude, man. Very good, very good. Okay, let's get this chest and some health. Oh, there's a bigger chest here. Nice. Bro, if I stay in the corner, I kind of just stab things to death. Let's go, uh, let's go for, ouch. Let's get this coin and then this chest. I don't need keys or anything for that stuff. Seems legit. Ouch. Hold up. <laughs> What's our, uh, the interface really makes me crazy because it, it feels like just a very, very cheap interface, but the game actually feels pretty good. 8% speed. We could really use some health, I think. Yeah, this is our health. 6.4 out of 15. Okay, success. So we made it. All right, now it's time to get a new ranged weapon, I think, or a new uh, melee weapon. So, Pocket Ballista. Uh, first of all, our weapon does 2.2 damage, one attack per second. This does 12.3 damage, but 0.6 attacks per second. 40% uh, chance to slightly recoil, okay? Slow, but deals 11.2, uh, 30%, oh, I like this. 40% chance to pierce. Well, oh, this is blue, that's why, it's a better one. Let, yeah, let's get that, that's like a, I guess this is rare and epic, the colors changes and stuff, okay. Oh, it even tells you you can pick another weapon to replace your current one. Okay, this is, um, wait, is this another weapon? Uh, spin to win, winning not guaranteed, deals 6.7 damage, zero attacks per second, 100% chance to whirl deathly. Ah, uh, okay, it is. So, this is 3.3, but 2.5 attacks per second. This is 6.7, uh, but you just whirlwind. You know what? I'm going to take it just because it's novelty. Something you really want, click on the lock next to it. Oh, uh, if you can't afford something, you can lock it in place. Nice, okay. This gives me some damage and some health. This gives me damage and armor. I like speed. I, I think it's time for maybe a little defense here. We only have, we have 71, so we could get some stuff here. We'll get some speed as well. We only have so many slots. 8% pickup. I haven't been having trouble picking stuff up lately though. Uh, Ruby ring, I like that. We still got cash too, let's reroll. See if we get anything really, really good. Belt of Champions, 28% damage. Holy, it costs 43. I'm keeping it, though. Projectile speed goes down, and attack speed goes down, but that's still a lot. Okay, let's let's go. Let's continue. All right, and we can select here, here. Uh, let's go to this level. Accept. Beautiful. Oh, I see. It just whirls around. So, we don't really even have to attack. It just kind of automatically goes uh, I think I like the other weapon better to tell you the truth guys I do I do shoot with my ballista that keeps me going maybe this will be better for crowd control I don't know because earlier I was having trouble with multiples ouch still having trouble with multiples I guess I didn't take any damage from those attacks though is it because I'm healing oh no wait the plus is for my health. This right here, I suppose. I thought, no. Oh, it just has, oh, that's stamina, I guess. Is it because I can do something with stamina? Oh, no, that's my XP. Never mind. It has a cross on it like it's health related, so I was unsure. Let's get this chest real quick. And let's heal too. Nice. <laughs> All right. Success. Um, I think all of these suck. Um, we can only reroll once, too. That's interesting. We can get size, which are short range. I think I'm going to stick with my, uh, my whirling death here. Sigh. No, we'll reroll that. 
R pocket ballista? We're gonna keep our our ranged weapon that we have right now. And that means whenever you get that stat, you get that much more of it. We get... So that includes negatives. Oh, okay. So you can really go into negatives. Like right now, we can't dodge at all. <laughs> Projectile speed and attack speed are lower. But that was really, really good, man. Uh, okay. So now we kind of need to offset dodge. But we're not really going for dodge, though. I think going for armor right here would just be better. This is 26, though. Let's go ahead and save this. 4% armor, 2% shield. I don't know. Let's save the breastplate just in case and we'll go continue here. Now, yeah, I guess we'll go here and then here. I, the stars are difficulty levels, I believe. Eureka, brave and mighty, our hero soldiered on. Smart, they were also quite smart and clever. And then it hit them. Lightning, it hurt. So these guys have lightning maybe? Oh, wait, this is a boss, huh? No, it's not a boss. But they do cast lightning. I see. <laughs> so far, so good, though. Oh, I, I took a lot of damage right there. A lot more damage than I wanted to take. Do I kill those fair maidens or something like that? Those things that heal me, those girls. What am I doing to them? <laughs> They disappeared, but one fell over a while ago. Is it because they attacked her? I don't even know. This game's crazy, dude. <laughs> it's definitely an interesting arena survival game, man. If you like games like Brotato and stuff, this will probably be right up your alley. Although, the, having the, only the single weapon at one time, I don't know how combos work. Maybe you just go for loot, you know? You do have time to dodge that lightning, thankfully. But yeah, this seems like a wild little game. There's no dodge, like... I can't do anything but move around. There's no, there, there's not much uh, control <laughs> changes. Okay, trusty axe. Um, your, wait, your trusty axe it deals eleven damage, one point five attacks per second. Uh, this is actually pretty fast, but I don't think it's as good as my little whirly bird axe. Let's reroll. Whirling death plus one. Ah, so you can level them up. Plus two damage, spin 10% faster. Oh, that's great, dude. <laughs> I didn't realize. So you can upgrade weapons as you go. Uh, whole chicken, eight health, plus one regen, minus 10% speed. I hate how that <laughs> kind of affects speed. Maybe we should go for... Um, yeah, maybe we should go for a little bit of armor, like we were thinking about. And right now... Our damage is really good. Our dodge still sucks. Projectile speed and attack speed are still really low. But increasing that shouldn't be that hard. Let's reroll and see what we get. We could get 7% speed, but lower projectile speed. Our projectile speed is not that great, though. Look at this. Full plate. Holy. Yeah, we might do this, man. We might save up for it. But I do think I want this copper ring. Let's get it. And my slots are full now, so I don't exactly know... Oh, wait, never mind. I can continue getting items. <laughs> I can get a lot of items. Okay, okay, okay. It's cool, man. <laughs> I was worried about, like, how many uh, how many things I would get. Okay, this has two stars worth of difficulty. We're going to see how this goes. Right now, so far, so good. Man, my ballista is just killing, bruh. My ballista is just killing. Now, I can see the way that enemies are starting to spawn now. How it would be pretty beneficial to get a pickup range increase. So if one pops up, I'm probably going to get it. I don't know how significant it's going to be, but right now I feel like I might go into harm's way if I try to pick up too many of these coins. Although I do like the way these guys, things are grouping up, but my weapon doesn't really pierce that well. Doesn't really pierce that well. Okay, I got some hit point increases. That's good. And when I hit stuff, it feels like the game jerks a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if that's lag or if that's meant to do that, but the game just feels kind of jerky. <laughs> this is the demo, and as you can tell, it is an indie game, so I'm really not sure what to expect. But it had some pretty positive reviews from the few that it had, and it feels pretty fun, so I guess it's worth it. What the heck is a whacker? Deals 27.5 damage. 60% chance to whack enemies across the field. Bro, that just sounds fun. I don't know if it's as good as my other weapon, but we're gonna take it anyway. 
Ooh, Chunk of Fire. Deals 2.7 damage, 0.6 attacks per second, 100% chance to explode the enemy into chunks. What? Um, you know, it. why not, bruh? At this point, why not? We want to see what's, what's involved. A Necromancer robe. You can get minions? Oh, this is interesting. Adds an orbiting weapon. Minus 20%. Ah, oh, so it gives you an orbiting weapon. This is like a special modifier, right? Full pl I think we're going to take this full plate here. And uh, I'm going to save the Necromancer robe just in case. Art of War sounds really, really cool too. But 150, man, we'd have to go without upgrades for a while. So uh, let's stick without that. But it does look like the stars have something to do with the rewards. There's also like maybe a castle and a mini boss here. I'm going to go with this one. GGG uh, -G -G Phantoms, brave and wise as, as always. You, our hero, decide to explore the depths of an ancient dungeon. Soon you'll discover that you're not alone. They're ghosts. Don't worry. They're more afraid of you than you are of them. Okay? Look at this hammer, bruh. <laughs> oh, they do explode into... What? What a weird... <laughs> what? This is the weirdest... Attack animation I think I've ever seen in my life. This game, y'all, it 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 looks so jank, but it's actually good. It's like this is what they were going for. They were going for the jank look. <laughs> I'm here for it. <laughs> I am here for it, dude. It feels a lot like Castle Crashers, which at the time was very, very jank too, but it's a cult classic and one of my favorite games I've ever played, man. I had so much fun playing with uh with people my friends in that game also the stage is getting much 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 harder like i'm starting to take damage a lot more frequent it's because these ghosts wow okay <laughs> so a faster uh a faster ranged weapon would have probably helped vorpal unicorn times two i mean a plus one Okay, a volatile fruit. Hard to aim, but explodes for 5.5 damage. One attack per second. Versus a half of an attack a second. Damage last wave, 448. 477. Um, You know, I think I'm going to go back to the Vorpal Unicorn. Just because if I get that boss that's coming up, I'm going to want fast attack. Right? And I, the ranged weapon's okay right now. The dynamite that it shoots. The impaler was pretty good. But I would much rather if it was something uh, really good. Gain attack speed with every melee hit. Ooh, that sounds cool. It takes away a lot of damage, though. So... We can still continue to lock stuff if we want to. Necromancer robe, I don't know why I would continue to lock this. I thought it would be good, but maybe it's for a different class that we need it. I don't know what I don't have minions yet. Maybe we'll get some later on, I'm not sure. Copper ring, 7% speed, minus 2 to projectile speed, which is all 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 ready minus 8%. Oh no, minus 12%. But uh no, it doesn't add attack speed. Uh, let's reroll this. Fairies heal plus one health, so you could get fairies at some point. Ten plus ten percent dodge plus five percent speed minus three percent armor. I think that would balance this out kind of nicely. Um, plus one health. See that belly? Yep. <laughs> we'll eat some stew, man. We'll eat stew. Okay, magic slippers teleport when too many enemies are near. Oh, that's neat. Bootstraps, 5 luck and 10% luck modifier for minions. Nice guy cape, 10% dodge pickup and dodge, but minus 5 luck. Huh, I do like that. That That's really, really good stats for the trade-off. I don't know what luck does, but we could probably increase it pretty easy with something like Cat's Eye. So we'll actually pick up both of these and we'll try to get some extra gold here. Okay, can I go here? Enchanted forest. Hopping and skipping your way to the lovely enchanted forest, you smell something. Turns out it's your own guts, as you've been forcefully introduced to Gary. I should clarify, this is Gary. Good luck. 
What? <laughs> Gary? Gary's a boss. I need to get close to him. Oh, I'm just destroying Gary, bro. I was right about this weapon, dude. I was completely right about this weapon. <laughs> Gary's dead. <laughs> Hey, I get I got five luck just from doing that. Nice, huh? <laughs> Very nice. Okay, let's get some healing here. And let's go get some money, shall we? Let's get some money. Uh maybe there's some chests around. I don't see any yet, but maybe I have to kill a certain amount of enemies first. There's a chest. Yeah, the the explosions from the little dynamites that I'm throwing. With it, when their guts come out or whatever, it's actually pretty darn good because it explodes in a in a range around them. Okay, well we missed the chest, but we got forty one dollars from that. Oh, this is gold. Adds thirty four point four damage, 0.5 attacks per second, one hundred percent chance to breathe fire. Sign me up. <laughs> Say no more. I'm sold. Okay, Severed Talon, 10% chance to ignore armor with ranged weapon. Right now, we, we mainly melee focused, I think. Let's get nice guy, let's get the nice uh, cape, and then we'll get Cat's Eye as well. What is ear? 5% XP modifier for health? Some more stew? We'll, we'll save it for the Cat's Eye, um, and we'll continue here. So, I'm guessing... We can't go to this? Oh, the path is actually around this way. I see. Let's, this is a three star, y'all. This is a three star, so this is probably gonna hurt. Um, am I attacking? Oh, it's breathing fire. Oh my God, it's glitchy. <laughs> It's so glitchy. And they take one damage for a second. Okay, I thought this weapon was going to be good. It doesn't seem really good. <laughs> also, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh my god, it hurts. It hurts. We need one of them little uh, females. Female, hello. Can, can somebody help me? Can somebody help me? Oh no, it's some of these casters. Oh gosh, I'm almost dead. Your boy's almost dead. What a mistake, dude. Three star with a new weapon? Not a good idea, guys. Not a good idea, but I succeeded. Holy, we lived. I, I couldn't find any of my little booze. <laughs> okay, we are, we are changing this weapon out. A slow but massive polearm. Let's just change it out for now. We might pick something else too. Well, we got a plus two of it. We'll take the plus two. Jeez, though, that, that weapon was so weird and janky. All right, um, cat's eye, we'll take it. Extra eyeballs, we got extra pickup. Speed, speed, no, we don't want any of that. Let's get something health related. Grants one level up at the start of the next combat, removed after use. Okay, this just gives you a level up. I don't know if I like that though. Reinforced plating gives me extra shield. Plus three health, plus 10% health modifier. This looks really good. We'll get that. Um, let's go to continue. We'll just save up for that. All right, so that yeah, that was a three star battle. I can go to this battle, but it doesn't tell me what it is, zero stars. Flint, honestly, we need all <laughs> Flint in our lives. He brings the spark of joy to life. Also. Great at roasting native adventurers. All right. So this Naginta, let's see how it does. It's giant. Oh, it's it's actually a boss. But look, your boy is roasting him. Oh, this guy's going to be super easy, dude. <laughs> I'm starting to think that this game is jank. It's actually jank. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but they hit it on the head, dude. They hit this thing on the head. Because the jankness is starting to come out, and I'm feeling it. Both in its performance and just in general. Okay, let's get away from the fire. I'm trying to get this little... Okay, there's some health and stuff. Good. Nice. 
Get, get some more health? Oh, I was already full on health. Okay. Regen. Beautiful. Let's kill this guy? He is firing me. All right, I didn't kill him, but, or did I? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, the Naginta is okay, man. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it going. We got a plus three Naginta now. Okay, Suspicious Hood gives me some attack speed and some projectile speed. Nothing wrong with that. A D20. Roll a D20 every five seconds to add to your damage? Huh. It gives us luck, but reduces our damage. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Um... 5% armor, 10% armor, minus 5 luck. Should we keep going down in the luck department? I don't know, man. Um, let's get this help. Let's get the cookbook like we wanted to. Then we'll continue. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that this is the boss of the realm or something like that, dude. Let's go here. Oh, we got it. It's another Gary. Okay, Gary, don't worry. We're going we gonna to get you, Gary. We gonna get you, Gary. I'm I'm really just solo in this dude. I'm tanking. I'm face tanking. Ouch! That hurt. Not a lot, but I I face tanked him the whole time. Fifteen percent pickup range. That's good. Let's go get these chests and these these dollars. The Negenta hits a huge like area, bro. It the, the area really is incredible. That it covers. I don't know why I'm doing zero to these guys, but they they seem to die after a few hits anyway. You see how the game's jerking though? I literally get jerked around when I attack or when I get hit by an enemy. It's just weird, man. It's like camera shape, but it's not. I don't understand. I don't understand what they're going for. Maybe it's my computer. Okay, rusty axes, no, we're not gonna take those. Size, no. Volatile fruit, we've never tried it, but I, I think what we got is better. We've already had a whacker, which was pretty good, um, but I don't think we're gonna take that either. I think I'm pretty happy with our weapons for the most part. Banded shield, plus two shield, minus damage, I don't like that. Fingerless gloves is attack speed and projectile speed. We'll take another one of those. And uh, let's reroll. Anvil just gives us more damage. I like it. What is this? Spare brains. 5% chance to spawn a zombie. He doesn't get a name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we get some We get some minions like that? I like it. Um, let's reroll. Oh, I didn't see how much it cost. It cost 14. But at least we can... Um, at least we can... What you call that? Lures nearby fairies to you. More bait lures than faster. Oh, those are fairies in the corners, right? Wait, it's Coke? What? <laughs> That's so weird, dude. That's a drug reference. What the heck? Um, <laughs> I don't know what is this game, dude. Plus 12. You know, we're going we're gonna to try to help our little minion out, I guess. Oh, no. Here we go again, going into a new area with some skills. All right. Blaze. This is the boss. We're going to see what we can do here. There he is. Oh my gosh, he hit hard. Fairy! I need a fairy. Right now. I wasn't expecting him to hit me that hard. Thank you for the healing. Yeah, we're just going to stay away from him right now. I mean, we're not going to stay away, but we'll uh, we'll definitely stay away from him. At a, at a safe distance. Oh man, I wish I had a dodge roll or something, y'all. I really wish I had a dodge roll. Can I tab or anything? Nope. This is the only thing you can do is just walk. <laughs> just if you in trouble, walk. Look at the poo poo that's spawning though. Blaze. He still has a lot of HP, man. Okay, so. You don't beat him, but you do get to continue, which is good. Uh, let's reroll. Nothing. We got there. Gobbo coins. 25% armor, damage, dodge, and health. What in the world? That seems incredible. Stonks. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, let's get. Let's let's just go and try to save for that. Wait. Made it past the castle, the burning one, to the forest. 
they somehow knew this would be the final part of their journey. So once more I ask, will our hero prevail? <laughs> this announcer is... <laughs> she got away. Oh no, you've reached the end of the demo. Thank you so much for playing. <laughs> Hope you're having fun. If you're interested, please check the Steam page for the full version of the game with 12 unique champions and three full quests in various difficulties. Well, how about that? Guys, I think you should at least play the demo and see how you feel about it because this game, I think it's like three bucks on Steam right now for the full version and it's pretty fun. You guys let me know in the comments how much you like it as well and hey, who knows, maybe I'll play some more if you guys uh, want to support the series, the small series for it. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off. We'll see you next time.